So let's examine the following example. Suppose that a non-uniform 2 kilogram object is balanced at a point of 52 centimeters from one of its ends. So that means the center of mass from one of its ends is 52 centimeters. So when we pivot this object at that point, it oscillates under simple harmonic motion with a frequency of 0.5 Hertz. Now in part A, we want to find the moment of inertia of our object and in part B, we would like to calculate the ratio of K to M, where K is the spring stiffness constant and M is our mass. So let's begin with part A. So let's look at our diagram of the object that is oscillating back and forth and let's suppose at some given moment in time it is in the following position. So this is our pivot, this is our center of mass and the distance from the pivot to the center of mass is given to be 52 centimeters. Now let's recall the relationship between our moment of inertia and the frequency of the object. So recall that the frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi multiplied by the square root of mgl divided by i, where i is our moment of inertia, m is our mass, g is our gravitational constant, and l is our lever arm. So we know what the lever arm is, we know what the mass is, and we know what the frequency is. So that means we can rearrange our equation and solve for our moment of inertia of our physical pendulum. So we know what mgl is, so that's 2 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second multiplied by 0.52 meters. So we take this quantity and divide it by 100 to convert it from centimeters to meters. And then we divide that by the square of 2 pi times the frequency, which is 2 pi times 0.5. So we plug that into our calculator. And we find that the moment of inertia of our physical pendulum is 1.03 kilograms times meters squared. Now what about part B? We want to find the ratio of K, the spring stiffness constant, to the mass of the object. So notice we are given the mass, but we are not given the spring stiffness constant. So how exactly can we find this ratio? Well, recall that if we take our angular frequency and we square that, we'll get our K divided by M ratio. Now, we also know the following relationship. Our angular frequency is equal to 2 pi multiplied by our regular frequency. So if we square this quantity, that means we're going to calculate what the angular frequency squares because if we square this side, we have to square this side. And if we square this side, we get the ratio K divided by M. So we know what the frequency is. So that means if we square 2 pi times the frequency, that will give us our omega squared, so that will give us the ratio of k to m. So 2 pi times 0 0.5 squared gives us 9.87 newtons per kilogram times meter is our ratio of the spring stiffness constant to our mass of that object.